Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to uh, do a layout for next week. This was last week's and I do a lot of stamping so I was going to go ahead and do the next week. When I stamp I use any kind of ink I want and if you notice it bleeds through but the thing is I print out my own inserts and I print them so they're blank on either side. This way I do not have to worry about any kind of inks bleeding through the paper and showing up. It's one of the nice things about having your ring binders and your own inserts that you can do this with. And inking uh, leaves the pages so they're pretty easy to turn. I also uh, color um, with my Prima or Prisma colored pencils and I use those to color in the areas I want colored in. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take out and insert, move this out of the way, and lay this down. And then we're going to use a couple of stamp sets. This is a um, Halloween stamp set I got when I was doing uh, DT projects for Natasha Scrapbook Corner and I uh, since it's you know October I thought we would go ahead and use some of these I kind of like this long one here to go with these swirls in here I thought I would use um, this one it is Inca Dinkadoo and it's got some nice swirls in here and also it has cats and little owls and stuff and I kind of like this little guy he will make its way in here somewhere. I also have um, this stamp set, which is also from Inka Dinkadoo, and it's got little leaves. This one has little birds. Uh, this one has flowers and leaves. This is just a leaf stamp. I've used this before, and I also use this one. So I might use one or the other of that. Um, I believe that's all I'll use in there. I have um, made this little, it's one of those photo books you get. Um, this one was, it holds 24 photos. I got it at Fred Meyer. It's pretty darn cheap. I added this piece here. Um, I just punched a hole out through the center of this. I'll find the center. And I just did a knot here, pushed it through. So it comes out the other side, kind of like what you do with a Midori book. That way I can keep it closed because it's getting a little thick. Um, I just slipped in a paper in here. Took out, so sorry, hold on. Okay, and so um, it gets kind of thick is what I was saying. And I keep my stamps in here. So we have my Cocktailer Dreams uh, stamps here. This is the date stamp I'll be using. This one is the box stamp that I'll be using on some of the squares. And then we'll go through here and try to figure out what other stamps. And if I use a different one, I will tell you where they came from and what I used it for. So we're going to do this with a couple of inks that I've picked out. So. One is going to be my VersaFine Onyx Black. I've got the um, Distress Inks from Tim Holtz, and this one is the Spice Marmalade. Kind of like the orange. And then I need to pick out a green one, and I haven't quite figured out which one to use, but they're both gonna be Tim Holtz inks. And I have this one, which is the um, Pine Needles, which is a really dark green. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stamp uh, out the dates first. And this is the set I use, and this is from Atelier Dreams. I'll leave a link down below. I believe it's called Script uh, Dates. And I've laid the stamps out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because my weekend's over here. And then I put the dates down here. This is just easier for me when I'm stamping it. And then I just go ahead and ink them up and 
set them and then lay them over on the other side and then I will wash them all together because they're tiny. That's all done. I'm going to go ahead and um, do the rest of the stamping on the sides and then I'll add whatever in the boxes. Now what I do is I take a, a scratch piece of paper. Um, this just was a bad print so instead of wasting the paper I use this to do the stamping on and it will become very dirty. <laughs> so first off we're going to use the uh, the big stamp here. If I can get that off, it's been a while since I used these. Wow, this is a toughie. Okay. Now I have a long block too. It's got a grid. Uh, it's closer on one side than it is the other side, so you want to keep that in mind when I was taking this off. This might happen to you. It uh, ripped, but that is okay because I can line it up and I can use it the same. And now I have the option of using that on the top and this on the bottom. That is not going to bother me any. You can tell I don't let much bother me. <laughs> Crafting is joy and fun. It is not to be stressed out over. Okay lined up as good as I'm going to get it. So now I just have to figure out where I'm going to stamp it. Um, what I do is I will put it on there. If you notice it's not straight either, that's not going to bug me either. I'm going to ink it up and then I'm going to, sorry about the hair, I'm going to stamp it on the um, scrap paper here first. See how it comes out. I haven't used this in a long time so it may or may not stamp out well. Get it inked up. I'm going to give it a, a go and see what it does. Okay. So I need to ink it up just a little bit better. This is what it's going to look at like when it gets on the paper. And I have to decide if I want that going down the middle or if I want that on the edge. And I'm thinking I'll go ahead and put it on the edge on Monday. And then I might just use the bottom or the top half on the Saturday, Sunday. We will see what I do. So I'll make sure we get that inked up better than I did. And then I will ink it, sorry about that paper, on this side. And I'm going to kind of go off. I want to keep it kind of straight. And there we go. It's either going to be straight or crooked. That looks pretty straight. So there we've got a kitty cat. A bird cage, I believe that's a bat, a cameo down here, and it looks like it's going down on a chain. So we're going to put one there, and then I'm going to ink it up, and I think I'll just use half of it down on the other side. I like the kitty cat, and it'll get the other half of the um, stamp. So we'll just. Where is the. 
hopefully that's straight. That's good enough. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is come in with this one. I got these uh, on sale at Marshall's. I don't know how many years ago, but this is the dollar fifty. <laughs> We're going to add some squares in for where I need them. And I'm going to need to come in um, different, mm, nice finger. <laughs> okay, different uh, openings so you can lay them down and then put a little icon up here on the other side, depending on what you want to do. These are single lined and double lined. On my last layout I uh, did the double line and then I colored in the in between the lines with a colored pencil. And I liked how that turned out so I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. And this is from Sweet Quiet Designs, and it's my laundry, dusting, bathroom, vacuuming, the, you know, my uh, spring for like all the glass wear. And we are going to do these, ooh, let's see, we'll do them in green, I guess. These are vinyl stickers, by the way, so they kind of have a shine to them. And we're going to stick the little lid. When you put these down, because they're vinyl, <laughs> they're not as easy to get back up. And um, you have to use, if you're going to write on them, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. 
the permanent markers. They don't do good with the gel pens. But I have the there. Uh, I do not have a. I am inking it all this up. See what I mean? But the ink just comes right off of it. Vacuum cleaner and green. So we're gonna have to go with yellow. Is it close enough to green? really cute in there. Okay, um, bathroom. Use this one over here. There we go. Ink all over me. So that gives me my cleaning schedule. These stickers are from stickers by Sandy on Etsy.com and uh, do an Instagram and a YouTube. These are matte stickers. I just stick them on a Tuesday because I usually will do one or the other on that day. Um, Pretty sure that there is going to be a football game on Sunday, and if there isn't, that's okay. <laughs> Either way, the football sticker goes down. Root for my Seahawks. And then I have some really cute little um, stickers here. These are from... Let me see if I have, here we go, the Stick With Me sticker designs on Etsy too, so I'll leave the, all these links down below. So this one has a little clock that you can um, put what time your appointments are, it's got a little box you can write in, these are matte so you can actually write your knees in any color you want, or any pens. There's a cute little guy here. I just love him. And then the arrow guy that tells you where to go. So I need to stick some of these on there. I'm going to use the green one. So we have something going on on Saturday. And then on Okay, I added in some black. And so I added in a little owl here. And then I took my, um, because this didn't come all the way down, I took my, uh, just my pen. Um, it's one of these art pens. I believe I got this umpteen years ago. <laughs> it's a real cheap set. One side is a brush, one side is a fine tip marker. And what I did was I just drew a line that came down and kind of made it bumpy like that. I did that on this side also. I added a little tiny owl here and here. I added a bigger owl here and then one up here at the top so they kind of mess together like this. Okay, I added the little um, panda up there and then the icons. And I think it turned out pretty good. So that is what this is going to look like. Um, there should be a little curl there, but I'm not going to mess with that. It's going to look okay when it goes in the, in the thing. I want to uh, darken these and what I'm going to do is take two shades of orange. So let's see, this, this is a poppy red. I need an orange, orange. Let me get your scarlet red. <laughs> okay, let's get an orange, please. I'm trying. I'm so trying. I've got a deep orange. That'll work. See, these are <laughs> all reds, but uh, deep orange. And then this one is uh, yellow orange. It looks yellow to me. And then I will find the shade that comes the darkest. And I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to color these. So going with the lightest color 
Okay, I'm going to color in this area here, this area, this area, and right in here. Then I will take the uh, darker one and do the corners. Oops, I got out of the line. Trying to do this on camera. Not easy. Harder you press with these um, darker it gets in the corners. I do have an eraser so I can get my boo boo gun a little bit. And then darken it up again. Okay, and that kind of gives you a uh, graded look under it, which is what I'm going for. And I'm going to do these two in this color, and the last one in green, coloring in the exact same way. Lightest color, lightest pressure. And then the darker color heavier pressure. And the dark one, so I have a dark green and um, yeah, spring green. Okay, <laughs> so coloring these the same way. So the light colors. And then the darker color. So I'm just going to do the layout without um, me writing down anything. And I will show you what it looks like in the book. So there we go. And that is my next week's spread. Getting a little spookier as we go towards Halloween. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these. Bye now.